Hi, my name is Carrie Conaway. And I am Andrew Ho. And we are the faculty co-chairs of the Education Policy Analysis Program here at the Harvard Graduate School of Education. We anticipate that you and other prospective applicants have questions about the goals of our program, what you can expect when you arrive, what competencies you will learn, and which professional roles and identities the program prepares you to assume. So we thought we'd do a short question and answer session in this video. If you have any further questions, we look forward to connecting with you through our admissions office at gse.harvard.edu slash admissions slash connect. Let's start with a thought experiment. Your state or government is planning to fund a new teacher professional development program geared at improving elementary school teachers skills in mathematics. How should this be designed? Should all districts or schools be eligible? And if not, how would you decide which to prioritize? Which teachers should participate? What skills should the program focus on? How can you use this program as an opportunity to increase equity in the system for teachers and students? How would you know if it made a difference and how would you communicate those findings to decision makers? These are exactly the kinds of questions that the Education Policy and Analysis Program prepares you to answer. The HGSE motto here in my background is learn to change the world. But how can we change the world? We all share the belief that wiser educational policies can improve learning and schools. We teach our students how to make change in the policy sector by understanding the policy context, defining the problem or opportunity, using evidence to construct and evaluate alternative options, and communicating findings while attending to equity issues throughout. In short, our graduates change the world by analyzing and improving educational policies. Our program includes three experiences that are common to all of our students. There's a program core experience course on public policy processes, a research methods course to hone your analytical skills, and an applied policy analysis exercise that integrates all the skills you've learned into a culminating client-based project. But this leaves plenty of room for our students also to personalize their learning through electives and other opportunities. Our graduates work in diverse roles in uh, all throughout the United States and internationally, local school boards, school districts, national executive and legislative governments, nonprofits and for-profit education organizations. There really is a variety of professional roles and organizations that this program prepares folks for. So let's shift gears a bit. How did we end up working together? What makes us passionate about education policy and analysis? I can start. For me, I believe that evidence-based policy can improve learning and improve lives. In my own work in educational testing and measurement, I do my best to improve the quality of the evidence, and I try to improve the use of that evidence and reduce the misuse by practitioners and policymakers. As folks have used my data and my guidance to inform and improve education policies, I have found this to be extremely rewarding. And for me, I care deeply about strengthening the connections between research and policy. I think researchers have a lot to learn from policymakers and policymakers have a lot to learn from researchers. And if we could better connect those communities, it would result in more relevant research and better public policy. One of the things I love about working at the Harvard Graduate School of Education is that many of my colleagues think about their work the way Andrew does. They wanna have real world impact to improve the education system and children's lives all over the world and they put in the work to make that happen. Okay, Andrew, what are three things you think every applicant to this program should know when they're applying? So I'll try to be brief here um, and, and enumerate. First, our commitment to teaching and learning, particularly in our use of timely, relevant cases, is, I honestly believe, unparalleled. Second, our research methods courses, both quantitative and qualitative, are top-notch. We teach you not just how to do research methods, but how to think and reason critically with data. Third, I recommend learning about us before you apply. Get beyond the brand of Harvard and see why the reputation of the Harvard Graduate School of Education is what it is. And finally, Carrie, why should students join us? I worked in government for over 20 years before joining the Ed School, and so I know how valuable the skills we teach in this program are in the real world. Staff who can diagnose program problems and use a variety of types of evidence to analyze and develop policy options 
communicate those options clearly and help lead that change are invaluable in policy environments. And you can learn those skills here at the Ed School with some fantastic faculty and a great community of fellow students. Here, here. I have enjoyed the conversation, Carrie. To you, prospective applicants, thank you for your interest. Yes, thank you. And we hope to see you here at the Harvard Graduate School of Education.